Okay, we're getting this thing down. I do think that Damon and I are going to win, by the way. Even yeah. though Damon had no Wonderful. idea what he was carving. He's like, I don't even know what this <laughs> like, is. What, what is this? I'm like, no, turn it around. <laughs> what is it? I was like, this is the Rorschach test right here. What do you see? I thought we were just doing an abstract. Just pattern. abstract. <laughs> no, a it's a witch. Oh, we're going to yes. be avant-garde. Well, wait till now, you don't see try ours. to copy ours oh, okay. just because now you think it's cool. Yeah, well, we're already in the All midst right. of it. We don't have time to We've copy. We've already got yeah. something going See, for we're us. working here, working hard, Rich. Rich is working from home. Yeah. Which means, well... We'll leave that kit. up to you. Yeah, do you really call that work, Rich? What do you call it? <laughs> wow, you guys are carving pumpkins and I'm not working? Wow, that's, that, is, that is the pumpkin calling the kettle orange or something like that. Anyway, uh, what we've got coming news in in the movies, an iconic comedian has suited up for the superhero business. Scotty, the only chance you've got is both of you. Now, that's not exactly true anymore. Yes, the third Ant-Man is called Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, but a third person has climbed on board. SNL alum and comedian Bill Murray has joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In fact, he's already done. He filmed and wrapped his double secret role already. Marvel Studios has yet to reveal Murray's exact involvement, and Murray himself didn't specify which character he's playing, but I guess we can safely add comedy to the action-adventure genres that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantum Media will cover. Eventually, it's coming July 29th of 2023. It will be rated PG-13, and that's about, uh, well, all we know about it so far, officially anyway. But speaking of official news, it is official. Dune 2021 did well. Well enough, it's debut weekend, and uh, I'd say well enough to get another green light. Tonight, the bloodline ends forever. Kill them all. This is an extermination. They're picking my family off one by one. Only together. Can we stand a chance? Let's fight like demons. <laughs> Dune outperformed expectations with a $41 million opening weekend, which is impressive considering it was also simultaneously released on HBO Max, which makes Dune the first Warner Brothers HBO Max dual release to open above the $31 million record set in March by Godzilla vs. Kong. Now that might seem like a minor thing, but it was just the latest in a string of good news, good news that it kind of needed because Dune has now officially, well, been greenlit. Part two is a go. Now, we don't know too much more about it. The MPA ready, probably PG-13, probably at least two and a half hours, but it is coming sometime in October of 2023. That's, uh, that's kind of a long time to wait. You might actually have time to watch some Halloween movies. Maybe while you give out some candy this weekend, you can watch these for free. Check it out. No, no, no. Don't open that door. They're going to get all the children. Daddy. Ah! That's right. When things go bump in the night, Something is there in the dark that certainly was not there in the light, Dad. I never bought that. These classic creature features could be yours for free. A Quiet Place, 2019 Pet Cemetery, 10 Cloverfield Lane, and Mimic. All four of them just go to fox13now.com, click on the contest tab across the top, and enter to win this creature feature Blu-ray prize pack from there. That's right. Not just one, but all four of them will be yours. I got them right here, and I'm willing to send them to you if you enter and if you win. And if you hear from me, if you don't hear from me, maybe I'm just sitting here doing nothing, apparently, because I don't work.
and I'm just watching movies all the time. Well, yeah, I that's guess. what we're saying. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So now you know what we're talking about. Catching up pumpkin on all your carvers. shows, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we're carving pumpkins. Yeah, yeah. That's well, frankly, you can get carpal pumpkin. tunnel and tennis elbow from this. <laughs> that's, so this is work. Thanks, Rich. <laughs>